Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you something really cool, and I have this already set up. Um, this is the project of my previous tutorials. Uh, tr tutorial, I mean, about uh, creating a graphic and saving into a bitmap file. Um, so, um, in this tutorial, like it's pretty cool when you have sound effects. Um, uh, well, how you can show that, uh, how you can say that, um, like. Um, when something is ready or when you have a new message or something if you're making kind of email client program I don't know um, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a sound for that with how the Windows Media Player um, well um, it's also uh, the um, uh, the uh, sound file it's uh, a WAV file because I thought it's the only uh, possible file for this um, but anyway, um, so it's not um, uh, how you can say that it's not ripped off the program because some of you, uh, well, I don't know actually, but I think some of you or other people or developers are well. I know a lot of programs that does have this, but it's kind of a kind of open source for vi uh, audio because they are um, putting their sound file. Um, uh, not in the exe file but um, in something like the directory or something where the exe file is located or whatever so I'm going to show you how to do that without um, putting a, a wav file um, in the same directory or something so you don't have any kind of read uh, program uh, pro pro uh, problems so I have here a wav file you can find them I found uh, I thought this one was pretty funny um, you can just go to a uh, search uh, you will just search for dot wav and I think you have a lot of them on your computer so oh well let's show you how to get here so when you have your uh, code or something you go to project and then bitmap tutorial uh, pro uh, uh, properties then you will go navigate yourself to resources then click this arrow and check uh, go to uh, audio now select your WAV file and drag it into that so now it's in here and it's called SND message it's kinda important uh, to know actually which sound you uh, well you gotta have to know which sound you wanna play um, so you have to do this fool uh, well not fool or something you can't say that because it's not correct English but um, well you have to do this exactly as me as I do so I'm going to show you what can be your problem so I'm going to type in my dot computer just right after the code you don't you go, just go to ignore that um, so uh, my computer dot audio audio and then play okay bracket and you'll see location and string and we don't want that when you have this you will have to type in a path to the WAV AV file and I'm sorry about my friend is saying something but okay so well let's change my uh, status to Bosnia so okay um, so let's go further so it shows you location a string as I already said and we really don't want that and he is just freaking annoying but okay so um, this we don't want we don't want that and um, when you, when we go back to our properties from our project you will see here resources and like the most things of the property uh, properties of your um, project is located in my and then dot something uh, so here you can also see resources so you type in resources and dot and here you see SND message and he just I uh, have to stop with that. Okay, so when I close it, it shows you an error because this is not a path, of course. Um, so uh, now this is kind of the com most common uh, error uh, uh, mistakes uh, people are making. So when you put a comma, it will show you play mode as Microsoft Visual Basic uh, dot audio play mode. Okay, so and as we read that, you see play and then stream as system.io.stream and just uh, when we remove that comma it shows you a location so now you're right so you can do background background loop and wait 
to complete. I don't know what way to complete means. Um, let's see, causes the. Yeah, well. Ah, uh, never mind. So, background loop is. Well, it's just playing and then it will loop. And you have background is just one time. So, I'm going to do that. So, now the error is removed and I'm going to uh, show you. Well, let's turn up my volume a bit. Not too hard, I hope, but it doesn't actually matter. So, uh, so create graphic. Wow. Um, so, um, WWAV tutorial or something like that. So, save and now you have to listen. And it's. Did you hear that? I don't know. Maybe you can. Uh, you maybe you know that sound. It's from Worms. Um, you know that game where you have like a couple of worms and you have to kill everything uh, or every worm. Uh, it's kind of funny game. I don't know how I came to that sound. I think I have uh, installed it and then uh, uh, uninstalled it. But then the WAV file, I've got something stored uh, else in the install uninstall directory. So I can show it again if you want to. See, so it's actually pretty funny. Um, but if you want to do uh, when without any kind of media player, when you want to read from a file, it's just only something like uh, your hard drive E E. Oh well, you can do uh, C U R D I R. It's kind of stupid to say current there because it sounds uh, freaking stupid. But it stands for current directory and then backslash and then something like S N D message dot W F A. WAV, I mean. Oh, wait a second. And has to be between that. So, um, you can do this too. Um, I don't know if you can do. Yeah, I think uh, now it's see. Uh, well, it sees that this is a string, and then automatically corrects that. So it can do the same uh, play mode. Uh, audio play mode properties so it's actually pretty cool to do this um, so yeah thanks for watching this video feel free to comment rate subscribe or email me um, if you have any questions email me at uh, gnbjbnk at gmail.com if you have some money over to you uh, please donate to me um, uh, to my uh, via PayPal I mean uh, uh, to my normal uh, email address so gnbjbnk at gmail.com or easier is going to be um, my uh, youtube name and then at gmail.com from google mail I don't know if you know that but okay um, so thanks for watching again and I'll catch you later